Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up your wi your wireless setup for Content Manager with your PC and Mac. It also works with a Mac perfectly. It says PC, but it works with both. Um, so first, you have to go to the website over here. And the website, I'm going to put a link in my description. And just download the latest update for the Content Manager for the PC or my, or your Mac OS, like you can see here, they have update for uh, Mountain Lion or the other Mac OS updates. And if you click here, you can see the Windows version very easily. It's right there, both of them. And once you install it, just leave it running in the background. Uh, it doesn't really uh, drain no battery at all. It's very small. And like you can see right there, you're going to have... the you can see the the PS Vita icon right there very small and that's it okay guys once you are uh, once you install and connect the P the, the app here you're gonna go ahead and make sure you go ahead to preference go to preference uh, when you open it up you're gonna see this option Wi-Fi connection settings this was not here before uh, before the update so here you're gonna go ahead and set in check mark this mark right here it says connect to PS Vita system using Wi-Fi make sure you select that if you don't select it is uh, the PS Vita is gonna tell you to <laughs> and that's it everything else stays the same just like before nothing biggie there um, the folders remain the same your for your picture your movies your music folder your PS uh, your save file is all gonna be in the same place as before so now let's go to the PS Vita and here on the PS Vita let's go to content manager okay you gotta quit the game for that and now here that you have the option to PS3 or PC or or online you could go ahead to PC and from here you could go ahead and connect Wi-Fi using Wi-Fi now it's gonna scan for devices let's go ahead and scan there it is. Now my computer is right there. Go uh, now I gotta register, which is that number right there. Like you saw right there, it automatically popped out. So seven eight three 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 seven one one. Don't worry, the number is always gonna be different. So that's just let's go ahead and now let's register. Let's see. The device is registered. Let's connect. Like you can see right here, it says the data must be rebuilt. It may take some time to rebuild the database. So let's go ahead and and click that. Okay, uh, ready to connect Wi-Fi to system. Okay, let's go ahead there, and that's it. That's it. No biggie there either. Here now you got the options. Like you see before, like before, you go from here. You could go ahead and back up your PS Vita. You can restore. You could delete files from the computer. And let's say, for example, I could copy content. Man, if you have another computer, you could go ahead from right here. You could change to the other computer. From PC to to PS Vita, I could go ahead and change. Let me see if I actually have something in music. Okay, there's no songs in my music folder that I have for the PS Vita. But that's the way it is. It's very, very easy. Same thing here with photos. If I click there with photos, let's see if I actually have some pictures. Like you see, I got some pictures in the in the my folder for for photos. I will go ahead and click here. Add there, add this photo. Then copy, select copy, will be copied to my memory card. And there it is. Now I'm adding a couple photos from my, my PC. Not bad at all. Go back. Same thing with applications. Application most likely will be the applications from here you go back up to the computer but for me there's no need for that because you can always delete them and then re-download them for free 
and here same thing here I could go ahead and and from music from here I could transfer it to my MacBook but right now I think I deleted all my music from here okay uh, from here you could go ahead and back up uh, the system application will be closed I don't want to back up right now and let me see if I have any backup I have no backups in my computer and from here I could go ahead and restore but I have no restores I have no backups in my computer so I can't do it and that's it it's very easy easily connected to the computer no problem at all and that's it guys that's how easy it is to connect your PC or your MacBook to your um, PS Vita now using wireless settings uh, keep in mind this only works with the PC or Mac uh, with the PS3 you still have to use cable which for me it sucks but it might be updated later on who knows might be updated later on for the PS3 and that's it and you also like I said before you also have the option to um, let me see if I could choose here you also have the option to upload to online storage but I believe it's only the save file which is good enough and it's up to you have up to one gigabytes of free storage when you sign to PlayStation Plus which is, which is awesome which is awesome one gigabytes for saving storage is not bad at all okay guys so this was a look at the content manager Wi-Fi syncing between PC and PS Vita